Hi again everyone. We come to our last topic of our series which is on frequency spectrum. Frequency spectrum of a waveform FT expressed as a Fourier series comprises amplitude spectrum and phase spectrum. Amplitude spectrum is a line graph showing the amplitude of the Fourier series components so-called harmonics which is drawn on a function of frequency. The plot of the phase of the harmonic versus frequency is the phase spectrum. The frequency spectrum of the waveform is also called line spectrum since the frequency components are discrete. The trigonometric Fourier series for a waveform that contains both types of terms given can also be represented in the form of ft equal a0 plus summation of n equal to 1 to infinity cn cos n omega t plus theta n. In this case, the sine and cosine terms of the same frequency are combined to give a single cosine term with a phase angle. In this equation, Cn is the harmonic amplitude and theta n is the harmonic phase angle that can be determined as follows. Cn equal a n minus j b n with magnitude of square root a n square plus b n square and theta n equal minus inverse tangent b n over a n. As for even function that contains a series of cosine terms, the harmonic amplitude will be c n equal square root a n square plus b n square and in this case b n equal to 0 therefore c n equal to a n and theta n will be inverse tangent 0 over a n therefore equal to 0. For any odd function that contains a series of sine terms, the harmonic amplitude will be Cn equal Bn and theta n will be negative inverse tangent Bn over 0 which is 90, negative 90 degrees. Knowing the amplitude and phase angle of the harmonics, the amplitude and phase spectrum of the series can be plotted. For trigonometric series, the spectrum is plotted for positive values of n, but exponential series, the spectrum is plotted for both negative and positive values of n. As for exponential series, the amplitude spectrum consists of an and an minus plotted for positive and negative values of n. Now let us look at example 1 which we have done before and now we have to plot the frequency spectrum for the waveform. Solution based on previous PowerPoint, the waveform is an odd function a n a not equal to 0, a n equal to 0, b n up to 7 harmonic we have b1 equal 40 over pi, b3 equal 40 over 3 pi, b5 equal 40 over 5 pi, b7 equal 40 over 7 pi. Hence, the Fourier series can be expressed as in the equation, in the equation shown. The harmonic amplitude Cn is directly given by Bn because An equal to 0. So therefore, we have our Cn, C1 equal 40 over pi, C3 equal 40 over 3 pi, C5 equal 40 over 5 pi, C7 equal 7, 40 over 7 pi.
since a n equal to 0 theta equal minus 90 degrees so the the graph for amplitude spectrum and phase spectrum is shown in the slide the top one is for amplitude spectrum and the bottom graph is for phase spectrum next we move to example 2 from the previous waveform we have to plot the frequency spectrum for the waveform dt below the waveform is an even function therefore bn equal to 0 we've calculated the a naught previously which is 5 and we have the Fourier series expansion ft equal 5 plus 20 over pi cos omega t minus 20 over 3 pi cos 3 omega t plus 20 over 5 pi cos 5 omega t minus 20 over 7 pi cos 7 omega t plus triple dot the harmonic amplitude cn is directly given by en since bn equal to 0 cn equal to an c not equal to 5 so we have c1 equal 20 over pi c3 equal 20 over 3 pi c5 equal 20 over 5 pi c7 equal 20 over 7 pi since bn equal to 0 therefore theta equal 0 the top figure show amplitude spectrum of this waveform and the bottom figure show the phase spectrum for this waveform the last example we have to plot the frequency spectrum for the given following Fourier series the first step is to calculate the amplitude and phase angle of the harmonics since cn equal an minus jbn so we have our cn <coughs> equal 20 over pi squared plus j 10 over pi c3 equal 20 over 9 pi squared plus j 10 over 3 pi c5 equal 20 over 25 n square plus j 10 over pi now let us proceed with finding the amplitude and phase angle of the harmonics since c1 equal 10 or 20 over pi square plus j 10 over pi we have c1 equal 2.03 plus j 3.18 which is equal 3.8 with angle 57.5 degrees doing the same thing for c3 we have c3 equal 1.08 with angle 77.8 degrees and finally our c5 equal 0 0.64 with angle of 83 degrees the next slide show the amplitude and phase spectra based on the previous calculation that's all for our topics on Fourier series next PowerPoint will be on the new topic which is on Fourier transform. Thank you.